Hi, my name is Ben Plesier and I am a fervent user of Wappler. With this video, I will continue from where I left off in part 1 of this e-commerce site. In this second part of the playlist, I will be using Wappler version 6. However, at the time of publishing this video, Wappler was only available as a release candidate. For me to be able to use Bootstrap version 5.3, I had to activate the beta channel. As another drawback of using a release candidate, not every Bootstrap version 5.3 change has been implemented. But this should not deter us from using Wappler version 6 and Bootstrap version 5.3. When I open the project in Wappler version 6, the first thing that I notice is, the dark mode toggler. At this stage, the toggler has no effect on the project. This is because, when I first created the site in Wappler version 5, the version of Bootstrap was 5.1. This version of Bootstrap does not recognize dark mode. To rectify this, I changed the extensions channel to beta. This requires me to restart Wappler. On restarting Wappler, I am confronted with a dialog that prompts me to update the assets. These assets include, updating the version of App Connect and components that use App Connect. It will also update Bootstrap to version 5.3. When I now toggle dark mode, we see the result. The navigation bar is not legible in dark mode. This is because, this version of Bootstrap now defaults to light mode, making it necessary to remove the light class from the code. First, the header. Followed by the navigation bar. Testing the dark mode, shows that all is well. Now this is great, being able to toggle modes when using Wappler. But how about having a mode switch for the user of the project? To do this, I first add the theme manager to the project. In my case, this immediately adds the dark mode to my page. This is because the theme manager defaults to auto meaning that the mode that I have selected in my Windows system has been applied. Had I selected the light mode in Windows, the page would have shown in light mode. The theme can be set to light mode. Or to dark mode. However, in this case I will stick to the auto mode. Now for the switch so that the user can choose the mode. For this, I select the last of the navigation items and add the theme switch after it. I choose the theme manager and the icons that I have installed for my project. This immediately shows the switch in readiness for testing. How great is that? While with the navigation bar, let me add another navigation item. This will come after the about navigation item. I give a name of, shop. Now that the visuals are complete, I need to create the navigation bar links. But before I can do that, I need to create the pages to link to. For this, I select the site manager and, create page. In the dialog that pops up, I name the page, about. Don't forget to select the main layout. Inside the page, I add the usuals. Namely a container, a row and a column. Inside the column, I add the heading for the page. Save the files and continue with the other pages. To spare you the monotony, here I have created the other pages while I stop the recording, with this as the result. I can now go ahead and create the links to the pages, starting with the navbar brand. Instead of choosing the file, I point the link to the routing. In this case I point it to the default route. Now I could choose to check the internal link. This will turn the project into a single page app without a complete page refresh. However, in my mind, it is best not to do this for public facing pages that are reliant on search engine optimization. Unlike the admin pages that require many user inputs, in this case, 
I will refrain from turning this into a single page app. I'll now continue to create the links to the remaining pages. Save the file so that I can test what we have done so far. As you can see, the project works as intended. However, I would like to have the navigation bar stand out a bit more. For this, I select the header element and scroll down to background colors. Here I select a new color variation available in Bootstrap 5.3 called, Body Tertiary. This has the effect that I was looking for, to make the navigation bar stand out from the content. Instead of, Body Tertiary, I could have gone to, Body Secondary or any of the other solid colors and new subtle colors. A word about the subtle colors. These are the same as the solid colors with an opacity applied to them. Much like the body secondary and tertiary colors. Experimenting with these background colors goes outside the scope of this video. But it may be an idea for you to play around with. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you will join me with my next video where I will develop the index page. Thank you for watching.